we are live here at Same Sky Productions uh, with Sad 13. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us here. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this first song you're going to play for us? Sure. It's called Less Than Two. It's the first song on the first and only Sad 13 album, Slugger. Um, and it's the first song that I wrote and recorded for the record, too. Awesome. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Awesome. Sounds great, guys. Thank you. Um, so you mentioned that uh, this that Slugger is going to be the first and last record. Um, no, not the last. Oh, just oh, the only okay. one so far. Sorry. <laughs> I misunderstood. Yeah, we're breaking up right now. <laughs> so, it's a solo project, but yeah, somehow absolutely. that works. Um, so then, I guess, what was it about these songs? Uh, did you go into them knowing that this was going to be a solo project rather than Speedy Ortiz material? Or Yeah, I wrote this record specifically um, for itself. So mm -hmm. there were a couple songs I wrote for the Sad 13 record that we're now doing mm -hmm. for the next Speedy record. But um, I was very much writing towards this specific record. I wanted it to be a self-produced pop album. Um, and so that's what, yeah, this was the first one I wrote for it. And, awesome. Uh, Recorded. Cool. Uh, well, can you tell us a little bit about the next song you're going to play for us? Yeah, we're going to do one called The Sting. It's named for the Paul Newman movie. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. 
sounded great, guys. Thanks. Um, so I want to ask you, too, uh, you mentioned on this record kind of about aspiring to become your truest self. Um, and Ooh, did I? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I like that. Summary. Yeah. Um, do you, so I guess my question is, do you feel as if you've reached that point, um, or is that still something that... I think that's a thing that's in flux for everybody. Yeah. I think all anyone can do is hope to um, be the best they can to themselves while also, you know, being considerate and careful of others. Mm-hmm. So awesome. I don't know if anyone's ever perfect. Yeah. I do really like the t-shirt I'm wearing today, so um, I'd say I'm doing pretty great. That's all you can ask for. None of my gear works, but my t-shirt looks cool, (laughs) so that's my truest self. Um, Well, you guys have one more for us. Uh, Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. It's called Just a Friend. It's sort of a response track to the Biz Marquee song Mm -hmm. um, of the same title, and it's about trusting your partners to have friends. regardless of the gender identity of those friends. Because uh, if that's what you're, you know, basing your trust on, you've got some, like, heteronormative problems mm-hmm. in your life. <laughs> you like that? Zoe's nodding. She approves of the description. Okay. So before we let you go, uh, do you want to let people know who are tuned in right now, where they can next catch you guys live? Um, about a million times yeah. in Austin this week. Uh, you guys yeah. are at Cheer Up Charlie's later this week? Cheer right? Up Charlie's somewhere on Saturday. I made a really good um, poster featuring a lot of pictures of Wario. So if you want to see that, you should go to 
uh, the sad 13 Instagram. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having us.